as my colleague Efiong Ekop is standing by for us to have uh, this chart. Efiong, are you there? Well, Efiong, if you can hear me, uh, today we ought to talk about uh, digital lenders. Now, tell me what is happening or what are you hearing? How are people reacting to the move by FCCPC uh, to sanitize that space? What is the reaction? Well, I think Efion Ekop is unable uh, to hear me. Uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, take a break. And when I come back, I'll be talking to Mr. Ozum to look at the market performance for today. Is Mr. Ozum ready? Okay, Mr. Ozum is standing by their phone. Mr. Ozum, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining us on the program. The market is down. Yeah. That's the first trading for the week, 1.98%. We have gainers. We have Caverton. We have Narco. We have Transcop. Sterling, Transco Hot. Losers, we have Etel Africa, Cheap PLC, Royal X, and Benefit Multiverse. What is your reaction to the performance of the market after the Easter holiday? Yeah, the fall in the market is largely attributable to Etel Africa. Etel Africa has a heavy weight in the market index. It controls about close to 18% of the entire market capitalization. So, because of its weight, um, a fall in Etel Africa of 10% has the capacity of making the market depressed by as much as 1.96% uh, we saw today. The market did not do bad. We saw um, turnover. Market turnover activity increased to 4.7 billion, uh, billion a today, which was uh, quite significant. And um, investors are still taking positions in um, many companies that have announced dividends. However, this um, loss in the price of Ethel Africa um, affected the general performance of the market. What is happening to Ethel Africa is that um, because you have foreign portfolio investors who um, find it hard to repatriate their phone out of Nigeria. You know, they are using Etel Africa to, uh, they are using Etel Africa to, which has well distinct status in Nigeria stock exchange, uh, Nigeria group and the London stock exchange. They are taking advantage of its well distinct status to exit Nigeria market and sell, uh, to buy Etel Africa in Nigeria and sell in London stock exchange. So you have a lot of investors who are doing, um, the opposite arbitrage of that and we have to tell you. So if you buy I can investors who are the potential of your business. Hello? 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 Mr. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So you have a lot of investors who are now buying in yeah. So that's uh, what because of the research number of people that we're doing that, and um, that's why you now have this depression in the price of Etel Africa. So the market today, the important market in this is likely at the Before I let you go, it, we're, it, not, we're not getting the best out of this uh, call, but let's see if we can just manage up and, and wrap up this interview. Uh, for today, the likes of Etel Africa are on the losers list. Cheap PLC. Royal X uh, and all of that. What would you think? These are uh, players in the market that when they sneeze, the whole market catches cold. Yeah. I, I explained earlier that um, you have investors who are doing arbitrage between yes, it's, um, Nigeria you and now. London. Okay. Yeah, so because of that arbitrage in, in Etel Africa, um, you now, right now, you have a torch in Stella about people who are spread to sell in the Nigerian market. And so, Etel Africa closed on, on offer. It was at the least also price of the day um, of 1,198 naira. Um, and uh, we think that the price will go, will see go lower. Now, because of the weight of Etel Africa on the entire market capitalization, which is as much as 18%, it's added, it, that, that's why the fall of 10% in Etel Africa 
we spread the market by one by almost two percent today. That's not planning. The market is significantly large volume, what four point seven billion worth of trade, and the investors are taking advantage of the um, several different announcements from banks and um, consumer goods, industrial goods companies, and buying into these companies. Just what we just saw today was just about Eastern Africa. I we don't, we don't think it's going to continue. Hmm. Oh, hold your thoughts, Mr. Ozum, and let me see if I can connect with F. Young Ekop. He's also standing by to talk to me. F. Young, are you there now? F. Young, are you there? F. Young, I can see you. Can you hear me? Well, clearly, F. Young cannot hear me. I will try to see if we can establish audio connection with uh, F. Young and talk to him on the show. So what is your outlook, uh, Mr. Ozum? Back to you for the entire trading uh, session. As we move towards that expectation, and many people say uh, investors are getting off that fence, not sitting so much on the fence anymore, though. <laughs> for the year, for the market is positive. We just um, expect that as soon as we have a transition, of power to the new um, uh, president elect, uh, we expect market confidence to improve significantly, and the market will react to as the government um, begins to announce the change in policy. <coughs> there are a lot of policy changes that were expected to come from the new government, and that will drive market activity. One of those policies is the regulation of the downstream sector. We also expect harmonization in between the black market rate and the official exchange rate. Once those are done, which these are things we expect to come with new government. And once it comes, once those things are done, we expect uh, a very positive aspect for the market for the main part of the year. Mr. Paulo, Zoom Equities Trader, Planet Capital Limited. I must thank you so much for your time as usual on the program. Yeah, thank you.